What's up, Cal gang? All right, so we got the statics problem today. So our goal is to find the moment of inertia around the x-axis. So let's get started. So we have this area here. It's uh, under the line y squared is equal to 4x. And our equation that we're going to use is the moment of inertia around the x-axis is equal to the integral over the area of y squared, dA. So let's get started. So we can't integrate with dA. We have to find dx or dy. So let's start with that. So dA is either equal to x dy or y dx. And in the case here, we have y squared in the integral already, so it's going to be a little easier, I think, if we go ahead and integrate with respect to y. So we're going to say dA is equal to x dy, right? So it's, um, that's our dA. So we can put that into the integral here. So we can say it's equal to, over the area, y squared x dy. But this doesn't really help us either, uh, because x is not just x. Because um, if we look at our integral here, we're going with respect to y. So for integrating with respect to y, we're going up the axis here. And x is the distance from here. Uh, let me use a different color. x is the distance from our y-axis to the line. So this is what x is. But in the case, we want to find the other area. We want to find this area. So if we're going to draw out what uh, any point on this would look like, is we have here and then here. So this is our area. This is the place we actually want to integrate, and then this is x. Now we know that this total distance is four inches, right? We're just taking a part anywhere across this. We know that if we're going to get what this area is, we're going to have to take uh, the total distance, which is four, four, and then subtract x off of it, right? Because if we were trying to get this area, we're going to have to take the entire distance and subtract off what we don't want, so four minus x. So this is actually what we're going to put in for our integral here. So going over here, I have x is equal to the integral, y squared, and then it's going to be 4 minus x dy. And so what are our bounds for dy? Well, dy goes from 0 to 4, so we can just put in 0 to 4 on the integral here. So there we go. So now we have an integral, but now we have y and x in our integral. We don't want y and x in our integral, so we need to get rid of one of them. And since we already have this dy here, let's try to get rid of this x. So to get rid of this x, we're going to need to use the equation we know, y squared is equal to 4x, and resolve for x. So that's a pretty simple one-step process, right? This goes to y squared, 1 over 4 is equal to x, just by dividing by 4. So we can put that in for x. So this is the integral from 0 to 4, y squared, 4 minus 1 over 4, y squared, dy. So now we just have to solve this integral, which is going to be pretty simple. So let's expand out everything, 0 to 4, so it's going to be 4y squared minus 1 over 4y to the 4th dy. So do this integral, you get uh, 4 thirds y to the 3rd minus 1 over 20 y to the 5th from 0 to 4. Make sure I plug that in right. Yep. So you're going to plug in 4 for each of these, and if you plug in 0, you're going to get nothing. And so you're going to find now your final answer, i of x, is equal to 34.3 inches to the fourth. And there you go. So that's how you solve this problem. So it's not too tricky. It's just about making sure you get the bounds right. Uh, make sure to practice this thing here. Uh, I have a whole lot of other videos similar to this, so check out those if you have uh, any questions. And ask your questions in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.